The carbon dioxide concentration in the atmosphere has gone up to about 385 parts per million compared to 280 parts per million in the pre-industrial era. As a result, there are global concerns what is going to happen to global climate change and sea level rise and melting of ice and glaciers and so forth. Agriculture can also be a solution to this problem. The reason it can be a solution is because agriculture is based on the natural process of photosynthesis. It's very important to recognize that every year the natural process of photosynthesis sequesters 120 gigaton, that's a billion tons, 120 billion tons of carbon dioxide as carbon into the plant's biomass. Now this process, compare this with what we call geologic sequestration. That's an engineering process. And the idea is to capture this CO2 from the chimney of a power plant, scrub it, purify it, liquefy it, compress it, transport it, and inject into a well which may be 5,000 to 10,000 feet deep. The cost effectiveness of that engineering process compared to the dangers of a risk of its leakage. What may happen if it leaks 20 miles away from the place of injection. One of the very important benefits is we cannot produce food in the world without carbon sequestration in soil. In fact, the reason why we have a food deficit in Africa is because the soils of Africa are so devoid of their carbon. We have mined the carbon out in soils of Africa through extractive farming practices. So the only way to reverse this trend in Africa and South Asia and other developing countries of the world to increase food production to meet the demand of uh, increasing global population in which we have almost a billion people who are food starved right now and their number increasing with the current economic crisis they cannot afford it is through carbon sequestration through natural process of soil and biology.